Hello, starting out solitary. So, I am your new Monday host. Hello, hi. So, this week we are talking about our biggest regrets in our path. And so, for me, I guess like the major one that I have is being so. I don't even know what the word is. Because I haven't slept in weeks. I'm exhausted right now. So, um, bear with me as I'm like, eh. Um, like, seriously, my brain is slower than a turtle right now. But it's fine. <laughs> um, but, yeah. So, I guess it's just, I wish I would have done more in my practice over the years. Um, which Tara kind of touched on as well yesterday. But it's like, I wish I would have just, like, experimented more over the years. Um, because, like, I didn't do a ritual outside other than the first one, which really doesn't count. <laughs> if you follow my channel, um, like, within the first year or so that I was uploading videos, I have a video where I talk about my first coven experience. And it was, like, a ritual outside. But it was so just, mm, not. Two 13-year-olds not really knowing what they're doing with their lives was just like, yep. But, um, it's just like, I didn't do an outdoor ritual since then until I moved here in 2013. And then I did a Lunasa ritual outside. And it was like, I should have been doing that the entire time. Because everyone was like, do your rituals outside. Do it outside. Come on, just, just go outside. That's the point of your, you know, spirituality. Go outside. And I was like, no, nature's nasty. I'm not an insect fan and there's like insects everywhere outside. And it's just like, nah. I don't like insects. <laughs> They're just like, no, why do you need to exist where I live? Why? Like, we have snow. Can't you just, like, not here? But I guess they're needed for, like, the ecosystem or whatever. But I don't like them. And so I don't like to do rituals outside. Because, like, spiders and, like, ants and, like, freaking mosquitoes everywhere. And you're like, <sighs> But I started to do rituals outside. And then it, like, clicked. Like, oh, my God, it's so great. Other than at night. I still don't do night rituals because, like, I get eaten alive by the mosquitoes. Seriously. Through jeans, I get eaten alive. And I'm just like, so, yeah. Um, I don't know, that's kind of my major thing. Is like, I wish I would have done more rituals like that. Um, and, I don't know, just tried different things with my practice. You know, calling the elements differently. Um, you know, switching up their directions and seeing if that worked for me or not. Um, you know, calling the god before the goddess, the goddess before the god. Um, you know trying out actual meditations, you know, trying the guided meditations a little bit more. Um, and I don't know, just trying out different things. You know, people, like most of the people that I watch on YouTube have done like sky clad rituals and I've never done one because that's like, mm -hmm, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> but I mean, it's probably a really um, interesting ritual to do. And it's like, I don't know, there's all these different kinds of things that I wish I would have tried in my practice. And now that I'm in college and I've got the college attitude of like, whatever, I don't care. Um, which basically if you ever go to college, you'll get that because you're busy doing other things. You don't have time to care about like the stupid things. You're just like, whatever. Um, at least most of the people that I've met in college and especially me, um, or university for other places in the world. But yeah, I don't know. I just, I wish I would have tried more things. Um, and then the next thing, I guess, that I kind of regret, I should have come out of the broom closet earlier in my life, because, like, my parents did not care. Like, you hear these horror stories of, like, oh my god, I had to get all my tools thrown out, and my books are all gone, and blah 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 blah, but, like, my parents didn't care. <laughs> like, my dad could not have cared less, and my mom is really supportive. Like, we do rituals together, we go to Pagan Pride together, um, she actually defended my practice, like, when I told her about it, her friend... Um, like, the next day or something, we were going to Pagan Pride, and her friend was, like, pulled her aside, like, you know she's worshipping the devil, and blah, blah, blah. And my mom was like, not actually. <laughs> um, which was really awesome. And, like, I don't know, I've had family members, like, my aunt, um, who is Christian, we've done a ritual together. Um, my other aunt, we've done quite a few rituals together, and she's, like, kind of agnostic. Um, and, I don't know, it's just, like, I could have came out so much earlier, um, to the family. And, like, I don't know, I didn't have to really worry about friends, because, like, I was usually pretty upfront about it. Um, I mean, I usually am, because, like, I have my rings, like, my goddess ring and my pentacle. I've worn these, well, this one specifically, since 2009. I think, whenever I was 13. I'm going to be 19 in July, so just, whenever that was. 
sucks. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's like, if they ask, I'll usually tell them, but I don't know, I was so petrified of, like, people finding out, um, and I remember one time when I was in the closet, like, my sister's, I was wearing my pentacle, and she was like, I didn't know you liked Motley Crue, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, that, that's a good example, as our dad is in the hospital, and this is not the appropriate time, um, but yeah, like, I don't know, if she asked now, I'd be like, oh yeah, so like, um, I'm Wiccan? It's pretty great, actually. Um, but, I don't know. I just wish I would have came out earlier, because my family is really just, like, chill. <laughs> um, they won't, like, disown you over that, at least, like, I don't think they would. Um, my family's really kind of just whatever. <laughs> um, they just kind of accept you for who you are. They're just like, whatever. That, that's just the exact term for it. Um, but yeah, I think that's really the only regrets I've had, because, like, you know, messed up spells and, you know, bouncing around between goddesses and, um, you know, basically having your Hogwarts checklist of spirituality. You know how, like, you want to get all of your tools, and you know, at the beginning, you know, you're like, you have, like, this shopping list galore of, like, when you first start, it's just like a rite of passage. You know, you get your first cauldron, you get your first wand, you get your first couple of things with incense and oils and your crystals and your statues and your altar and your altar table. It's like a rite of passage. Like, don't even pretend you didn't when you first found it and you're like, oh my god, I get to have a wand. Yeah! And you get to actually use a cauldron. Like, it was, like, legit awesome. Like, don't even pretend you didn't. And if you didn't, like, what earth are you on? It was the coolest thing ever. I don't care if you were 42 when you started. Like, it was exciting to go buy all the stuff. And it's like, part of me is like, oh, well, I don't really need those things. But like, when you start off, you want that. It's like a rite of passage. So I don't regret things like that. And I don't regret, you know, all the different, many different um, things I've done in my practice, you know, bouncing around between goddesses and trying out these rituals and just trying all these different beliefs and seeing if it worked for me. Um, I don't really regret any of that. So... I don't know. I don't really have any regrets. Other than, I mean, like, you know, not doing ritual outside as much um, until recently. And even then, I haven't been doing it as much because, like, I don't know. I do like the Savats outside, but unless it's winter because then it's like, why? It's cold. <laughs> um, but yeah, so anyways, I don't know. Just let me know your thoughts down below. I'm sorry if this made no sense. I was in Florida for nine days and I didn't sleep very well at all. <laughs> um, so I'm back now and, ah, oh, it's tired just constant tired but yeah so anyways let me know your thoughts down below um what do you regret about your path was it like i don't know starting out late in your life um making a certain very large purchase like i don't know let me know down below so anyways um thank you so much for watching and hooray we get to see each other every single week you get to see my crazy self every single monday it's gonna be great so yeah, anyways, thank you so much for watching, and until tomorrow's video, um, you know, you could subscribe, and uh, you can see me on next Monday. So anyways, thank you for watching, and blessed be.